On the previous episode, our hero TFA faced off against some silly little toons. But a toon deck is no match for the mighty Ojamas. After destroying a magician girl's deck, the final anomaly's confidence is at an all-time high. But we know what has happened in the past. Our hero's overconfidence underestimates the master dual meta. Will history repeat itself? Let's find out. All right, let's go ahead and keep on. Uh, we just need two matches to get back into Silver 4 where we were, so before uh, rank reset for us. All right, we lost the coin toss. Hopefully they choose for us to go second here. We are going first. Either they didn't select and they let it be random or they have a going second deck, so... Okay, looks like there was a server error, so... We get another opportunity at going second here. Let's find out. We lost the coin toss, so let's hope they choose to go first. They choose to go second, so either they have a going second deck or they're also running Ojamas. What are the chances, huh? Oh, never mind. It says I'm going second. I must I, I misread that. All right, so the nice thing is we have Ojama Blue for combo. We have nothing else, though, to stop the negates. So all they need to do is get a single negate out to stop us or something to destroy Ojama Blue. Um, wow, okay, they're playing Numeron and they chose to go first. I'm okay. This could be good. This could be good depending on what they choose to uh, summon. If they choose to go into the um, Link Monster, the Link 4, uh, for the attack, then we're going to be safe. If they choose to go into Mech Knight Crusadia, we'll also be safe. And we have enough Ojamas in the hand to be able to combo off here. Okay. This could be good for us. Now, if they go into Apollo, this could be bad for us, obviously. All right. They can only... Wait, what? Oh, wow. Okay. So they're going to, they're going to take life points, and then we won't even be able to attack here. This could be really bad for us. Because we're going to lose some life points, and then we can't even attack into nothing. Okay. We got to draw something significant here. Wow, okay. This could this could help. This could help. Now see here is where Link Spider again. This is where Link Spider again would benefit us. Let's just activate and hope they don't have an ash. Let's hope they don't have an ash blossom. Here's where Link Spider again would have saved the day because we could go into Phoenix getting rid of the field spell, and then they wouldn't have their field spell for their turn. Wow, they have an ash blossom. Please be Numeron Wall. Max C, this is... Oh my goodness. All right. Well, we're in another difficult position here. Max C. Can we go for game, though? All right, we're going to go for this. We're going to activate both of these. We're going to try to go for game here. We're going to go ahead and activate the Bee Buster. We're going to activate the Sea Crush. I mean the A Assault. We're going to go ahead and activate the Nightmare Phoenix. We're going to go ahead and let go of the Arm Dragon Thunder Level 5. We're going to destroy the Field Spell. We're going to bring back the Bee Buster. We're going to go ahead and search the white dragon head. Let's go ahead and summon the bee buster. Let's just activate this and draw. Let's see what we can draw into. He's got the Numeron wall and I believe Numeron wall stops the, uh, the battle phase. A dark ruler, unfortunately. All right, so we're going to go ahead and link those away. We're going to activate the uh, Sea Crush Wyvern effect. Activate the Bee Buster effect. And he's thinking, I guess. Unfortunately, I won't have enough to go for game here. Who has a higher attack power? They have the same exact attack power. We'll just summon the White Dragon Head. 
and then we'll go into ABC. Unfortunately, we lost we lost this match. He's got too many cards in his hand. More than likely, he's got Kaijus. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play this. And then we're just going to go ahead and attack here. Again, unfortunately, we could not secure the game. We were just short for game here, unfortunately. This is rough. Now, if he didn't have the Numeron wall, that's a little devastating. It was a battle fader. Yeah, we're, we're just. We're, I mean, we're just gonna negate it. But either way, we. I mean, the battle. We couldn't stop the battle fader. So. I think here's the Numeron Wall. We're gonna go ahead. Uh. All right, we're not gonna negate that. Because he's just gonna be able to do a search anyways. Alright, we're going to go ahead and banish it. And that way, if he tries to activate the effect, we'll negate it. Yeah. And then this is the one we're going to go ahead and negate. And it's at least now in the grave. So as long as he didn't open up a kaiju, I think we'll be fine. There's a huge chance he opened up a kaiju here, but let's hope not. I could immediately separate ABC, but honestly, we're, we're going to need ABC's effect here. So let's hope he didn't draw into his field spell plus ABC or the ability to search his field spell. Wow. Okay. Well, either way, we have to separate ABC now. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And I guess what I could have done too, now that I think about it, is I could have... No, I couldn't have. I was going to say I could banish one of my attack position monsters. Now that I think about it, I should have put White Dragon Head face down defense. I could have banished IP. That way, if he went from Numeron again, um, I would have been able to survive the turn. Another big mistake there, but it is what it is. If he drew his field spell, though, this is game. I could negate it, which I guess I might as well, right? Because, uh, yeah, I mean, I might as well. If you think about it, he's just going to be able to run over him anyway. And I guess I probably could have waited because at least the battle phase would have been over. But it looks like he's got something else. So he probably has another Numeron wall. Looks like he may have another Numeron wall. So what I should have done is let him special summon him, let him uh, run over the Apollo, and then that way... At least the battle phase would have been over. I wasn't thinking there. A few things I could have done differently to but, uh, at least try to survive the turn. Okay. Interesting. Sky Striker mix a Numeron. Okay. We might have an opportunity here. He did get to draw a card, which could hurt. Oh, there's the Numeron wall. All right, so here at this point, I think we just surrender because there's there's nothing we can do. Well, GG's to the opponent. Unfortunately, we, you know, we did lose this. That's rough, losing to Numerons. That is rough. GG's. All right, let's go ahead and just get into the next match. We took a loss here, unfortunately, to Numerons. Wow. All right. So we lost the coin toss. Let's see if we get to go second. All right. We do get to go second here. Looks like we're taking a loss almost every episode now. All right. The hand is not that good. Um, we could we could get out C Crush Rival. We have ABC here. As long as it, uh, they don't have an Ash, we, we do have ABC. Looks like a lot of people are having Max C as well now. So we may have to... We may have to get enough gems to be able to get uh, three maxis in the deck as maxi is becoming a thing now. We are going up against... What is this? Unions? Wait. Okay, we're going up against Earth Machines, but this is Earn uh, Union Earth Machines. Now, given our hand, I don't feel very confident here. We may take a loss. We have Arm Dragon level 5 in our hand again. Alright, so he's going to Link Summon. He's going into Gear uh, Gigant, or however you say that. 
or gigant. I don't know how to say that, but all right, what's he going to search here? All right, he searches the Bee Buster. It's kind of nice to see, uh, kind of nice to see somebody playing similar cards here. It's kind of nice to see. I want to see this version of ABC. Might be a version of ABC that I take inspiration from. I don't know about mixing Earth Machine with Light Machine, though, but... All right, he goes into the B. What is the B offer here? Oh, that's it? That's interesting, okay. Doesn't seem too strong. He did set a card, though. All right, what does he got? He does got... Oh, okay, he's got the Union Hanger. He did Normal Summon, though, so how does he get the Special Summon out? I think... At least I think he Normal Summon. Yeah, he did Normal Summon. He does have two Union Monsters. There's only two cards we don't know what's in his hand. I think he's going to be very pleased to see what we have as well. It will be hilarious. All right, we drew a Drama Green, which brings us no benefit here. But we can do the Ode Assimilation times two here. Let's just hope he doesn't have a Negate. If he has a Negate, we're going to be in trouble. So let's hope for no negate here. There's only two cards in his hand. We don't know what they are. Let's hope it's not a maxi as well. It'll be annoying if it's a maxi. Oh, we're good. All right. We're going to go ahead and do C Crush Wyvern. And we're going to go ahead and do the B Buster. But we are going to get to do this. And I bet you he's, as he's also having a trip here. He must also be having a trip here seeing this. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and activate the uh, Nightmare Phoenix. I think it would be super ideal. And we're actually going to get rid of the card we don't know what it is. So we're going to get rid of the card we don't know. Um, we're going to go ahead and get Arm Dragon level 5 out of the way here. I kind of have to win this match, right? Because I, I main ABCs and Ojamas. Like, I kind of I kind of have to win this match. Just saying. But we're going to do the back row. Let's hope it's not a waking the dragon. All right, good. And it wasn't a called by the grave either. Negate all trap effects. Okay, interesting. We'll get the white dragon head here. We're going to summon the A Assault Core. Yeah, we're going to go Unicorn. I have an idea here. So we'll go Unicorn. We'll do Unicorn. We're going to go ahead and activate Unicorn's... Uh, effect to go ahead and send to go ahead and return the monster then we're going to activate a Socor's effect and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to get the b buster that way we get the z metal tank out of the deck so we'll do that we'll go ahead and summon the b buster we're going to go into access code And then we'll get the Z Metal Tank for the Banish. Though we don't need it. We'll activate B Buster. We'll activate Access Code. Alright. Go ahead and get the Z Metal Tank so we have a card in case he's able to stop us somehow. We're obviously activating Access Code here. We're going to send the Union Hanger. Then we're going to go into ABC so we can get game. Aha! This feels good because you, you see a true ABC player. Let's go, baby. We had to win that match. It was a thing of reputation. It was a thing of pride. We had to win that. Alrighty. And did we get to silver or not yet? So we're Okay, one more and we get to silver four. Let's go ahead and do one more match. See if we can get to silver four real fast so that we can end there just like we uh, did on episode four here. So, all right, so let's take a look. We win the coin toss. We want to go second here. So we've been getting some pretty rough hands. Yeah, we've been getting some pretty rough hands. If you notice here, what are the chances that we get exactly one of each of the Ojama bros? We are getting some really rough hands. I don't see us winning this match, unfortunately. I do not see us winning this match. All right, he's already opened up a really good starter, or at least a way to search his starter. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we win here. 
And I think this is going to be a very long match. Search Dark Magician. Interesting. Interesting. He searched Dark Magician. You must have a way of special summoning him. Oja match would be pretty ideal. Okay, so he also has Magician Souls here. This is big for him. Sends another Dark Magician. He, he must have um, the, the trap card for Dark Magician is what it is. Wait, was that Magician Souls or what was that? Yeah, that was Magician Souls. Okay. We got a Dark Magician on the board. Oh, okay. Very nice. So he's got the Eye of Tamias. All right. All right, Master of Chaos. What does Master of Chaos do? All right. So, so far, we're not like in the worst. It's not, we're not in the worst position. He's got two big beaters, though. We know he's got a Dark Magician in his hand. So there's two cards. We don't know what they are. All right, that's probably the, the trap card that I was re referring to. He also had Magician's Rod. He just has game here now. It just turns out that he had a pretty good going first hand. He actually opened up really good going first hand, so. All right, that's not what I would have chosen, but okay. We got a very small chance here. We got a very small chance here. Wow, that is not, that is not the play. We can't even, uh, yeah, uh, I think we lose if I'm not mistaken. We're going to set this. We're going to set this and pa unfortunately we bricked hard. We bricked really hard here. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and surrender. Oh, gosh. Our second surrender. Did y'all just listen to this loser? Things are getting bad for our hero. What will become of him? Find out on the next episode of Ojama to Master Rank Series.